Hello and welcome to Beehive 101. We're delighted to be sharing this video on automations with you today. Thank you so much for choosing Beehive. We know that there's a lot of choices out there uh, and we're delighted to be uh, helping you grow. So to start, I wanna jump into giving you a little bit of background on what exactly automations are and how they can fit into your strategy. So the way we think about automations are uh, essentially sequences in which subscribers will enter when they take particular actions. And then the automations are the emails that they are going to receive subsequent to taking that action. So today, as a, at the time of filming, and we'll of course update the videos as the product develops, we have two sequences that can be triggered. Uh, one is for user signup, and the other one is for user upgrade to a premium plan. We expect to add many, many more triggers over the years to come and make the service far more robust in terms of you know different options for filtering and uh, ways to enter uh, the automations. But for today, at launch, uh, we have the ability to set up workflows based on when a user signs up and when they upgrade their account from free to premium. So with that background, uh, I want to introduce you to the UX a little bit, the user experience. So you can find automations by clicking on this right button and then jumping down to automations. If you have none, uh, you can create a new one here. If you have a series, you can search for the correct one. If you have an existing one, you can click these three dots to either view or delete the existing automation. And in this case, I created one before this call, or sorry, before this video. So I'm going to simply view. So when you click view or when you create a new automation, you're gonna have um, this canvas, uh, as we say, in which you can build your automation. So just to familiarize your, you with the layout on the lower left-hand corner, you're gonna have some buttons that you can use to uh, change the zoom level. So if you start to build a very long or more complex uh, journey, you can zoom out or you can zoom in. You can zoom so it's gonna show you the whole thing. Uh, and then the last thing that's pretty cool is you can actually lock and unlock uh, the actual button. So if I, it by default is locked, but if I unlock it, I can actually drag these things around. And then when I lock it, they don't. And I can drag the actual entire canvas around. The lower right hand window, it's a little kind of like a mini map, if you will. This is gonna show you um, kind of super zoomed out for in the future when we are you know, able to make this a bit more complex, you will be able to see the different branches and it gives you a way to orient yourself um, you know, on the canvas. You can rename your automation in this one. It's gonna be, uh, you know, we'll call it Welcome Drip Series. We'll save that. So now that name will show up on the interface on the pri prior screen. And then when we activate this uh, automation, once it starts sending to users, we can click this view stats button to see uh, the number of published steps, the number of draft steps, and the number of people who are have uh, you know made it through the process. Um, so who are in progress and and you know how long they've spent in there. There's also going to be other ways for you to view the stats about your automations in terms of email performance. Um, the least of which are going to be right here, and we'll also be able to surface them in other places within the platform. So to now familiarize you with the steps to and automation. You're going to start with the trigger. So, uh, and just some background knowledge. Uh, when these are yellow, it means that they are in draft form. When they turn black, it means they're live. So right now, these are all in draft form. So if you notice the, I guess maybe I can't click that until it's activated because um, it's in this. Oh, did I, is it because it's locked? Yeah, it's because it's locked. I'm sorry. So you're going to unlock the settings. And from there, you'll be able to actually interact with these modules. So if you click the three dots, you'll see that you can delete the trigger, which would delete everything here. Um, but if you see, you can drop down from this trigger selection. So you can see that these are the two uh, automations that I referred to before. So signed up and upgraded. So let's start, we're gonna start with signed up and we'll hit save. Uh, if we hit activate, it will start collecting users who fulfill that criteria and enter them into the automation. So we don't wanna activate that yet until we are all set up. 
The next step within automations is the waiting period. So right now, the way that we are separating each of the steps of our uh, automations are through these time-based waiting periods. Uh, at the time of filming, there is no branching. That's something that uh, we will continue to develop and, and roll out. But uh, right now, it's, it's simply time-based. So if you, you drop down, you can see you can uh, delay by minutes, hours, or days. So say you want to send a message 10 minutes after a user signs up. Uh, you can just hit 10 minutes there. And if you exit, it'll save it. So the next step uh, in the, the sequence is going to be the actual email itself. So from here, again, you're going to have the ability to view the email metrics or delete the step. Uh, there's going to be no email metrics because we haven't started anything. So uh, what we can do is actually hit this edit message. And it's going to open the editor uh, in, the, in the screen. So you can see we can preview the message on mobile and, and desktop. Because it's an automation, it's only going to be email. We can send a test to ourselves or anybody else in the account, just like you would with a normal message. So when we exit here, it's going to take us back to the screen. And you know we've reviewed it. We added the subject line. And so we're going to hit Save. And uh, at this point, we can hit Activate. So if I hit Activate, this is going to be live within the sequence. But it's not going to be live in the grand scheme of things because I haven't activated the trigger. So this would be eligible to be sent to users. But because the trigger is not live, it's not going to capture those users to then send them this message. So now that we have sequences, it's not just about creating one message. We can create multiple. We can add you know, as many steps as, as we want to develop. So uh, say the next message we want to send to them one day uh, after they sign up. And so uh, that's how this is going to work. So you're going to say you're going to wait one day from the time that they activated the trigger. So this would send one day after they signed up. Um, and then if we were to add a third step, we could say, you know, three days after, you know, three days after sign up, we want to send them that. So, um, oh, and we actually have to save this prior step one day. Yep. So it's going to say, it's going to give, send this to them one day and 10 minutes after they enter the automation. And then this one's going to send to them uh, three days and 10 minutes after they enter. And if I think if I hit this, it'll probably update to four days, three days. OK, well, it'll tell you exactly the timing here. So listen to that and look at that. But you can see how this works now with the different different steps. Um, you know, I did draft an email here. So if I view the message, I didn't actually do a whole lot except for make a subject line. But let's just pretend this is ready to go. I can hit activate. I'm actually going to delete this third one. I just don't want to do a third one right now. And so now we have a two-step sequence, one that they're going to get 10 minutes after they sign up, one they're going to get a day after that. So what we now have, we're good to go. Both of these messages are uh, live. So what we can do is hit activate. And once we hit confirm, this is now totally live. You can see this updates to running. The automation is currently live and subscribers who meet the trigger conditions will enter the flow. Uh, so in that way, we are good to go. Now, again, if I view stats, there's going to be nobody in here. But now we can see that the draft steps went to zero and the published steps went to two. Uh, if somebody joins, they're going to uh, be in this in progress category. And the total duration is shown right there. We can now relock this, and this allows us to just drag around and look around if we want. We can move uh, and then exit the uh, automation. So now if we wanted to test that, go to the turn.beive.com, enter EJ plus automations, beehive.com. Cool, maybe later, skip these. So I'm subscribed now. And now this is updated in real time to see that there is one person going through the automation. If I view this now, this will update and uh, should, I suppose in 10 minutes, show that I'm in there. Yep, so if I update, I can see that there is one user there. And we will be surfacing more data around these processes 
um, you know, as, as the product develops. But right now, um, you know, big, big update, you know, big improvement over what we had before. Now, taking a step back, if we wanted to do something for a premium upgrade, we can do is add a trigger for upgraded, hit save. We're going to add a step. So this will be, you know, wait one minute after they enter. We can send that and it's going to be the same thing. So this would be when a user upgrades to their premium account, that would be the trigger that would send them the email series that you create here. And so it's uh, fairly straightforward in that way. Um, and there you have it. So these are the, the basics of automation. If you do have questions about the functionality and features and kind of where we plan to go, please don't hesitate to leave comments uh, in, on the video below. Um, there's an immense you know, blue ocean world that we're going to explore uh, in terms of what we can do with automations, when they can be triggered, how they can be filtered, that we have plans for. Um, you know, this, this type of, uh, you know, setup is, is fairly complicated and we want to make sure that everything's working correctly and, and, you know, roll out these additional features, uh, prudently. So, uh, and of course, everything we do is built with you, the creator in mind. So we want to hear what you would find most useful and that will dictate and influence our roadmap. But uh, thank you so much for watching this video and learning a little bit about automations. We can't wait to see what you build with this extraordinarily powerful and exciting tool. This is really going to kind of take your creative abilities to the next level, letting you connect with uh, subscribers uh, kind of on a repeated basis, kind of in a more personal way after they sign up. Um, we'll, we'll be providing some you know, tips and, and tricks and, and ways that you can leverage automations, um, you know, Essentially, one, one thing that we've thought about is basically, you know, you have the traditional sign up message, the welcome message, but something that users have been looking for or requesting is the ability to send users kind of a greatest hits, you know, uh, evergreen content that they're very proud of. And so this is one way that you might do that. So you have, might have a welcome email and then um, you might say, hey, over the next week, you're going to receive, um, you know, some of our, our most popular messages so that you can get familiar um, you know, with, with the platform. So that's just one way that you might use um, kind of an extended, an extended drip. Um, but you know, really the, uh, the possibilities are endless and we uh, would love to hear what you have in mind. Thank you so much for listening. I know this was a little bit of a longer video, but uh, one of the most exciting uses of, of Beehive to date. Have a great day.